Hi, welcome. And today we're going to be looking at our new Dower 4K DVR. And specifically, we're going to teach you how to run through the wizard and make sure everything's set up all good and proper. So Dower uh, supplies a lot of co companies with their products. So for example, you might have heard of S-Pro or Onyx. And the same procedure will apply to those DVRs as well. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. And I hope you enjoy it. And thank you. So this is our welcoming screen on our DVR, which we just uh, um, powered up. So I'll show you how to set it up. OK, then. So first page, we need to select the region. All right, then. So it's United Kingdom. OK, nice and simple so far. We go next. OK, agree to this. All right, then here we take the time zone. All right, time is already correct, so we can go next. All right, password. So obviously you guys want to put in your own password. We're just going to use CCTV123. You might want to use something a bit more secure. Okay, we don't need a password hint. It's up to you if you want to put one in, but we go next. Ah, oh, okay then, so it won't let us put in CCTV123. So, let's try 1234. There we go. Okay, now we go next. Okay, then, so the pattern is used to, as a quicker way to, than in putting in the password continuously. So you might want to set this up. We're just going to go with a simple U shape. Okay, and we put it in again. Okay, all right. Now this this section is is, is quite important. So for some if some for some reason you lose your password for the DVR and you want to reset it, you need to set up an email address. Okay, so I advise you all to to put in an email address here. So we're going to do this quickly. So this is done now, so if you ever forget your password, you'll get a notification on your email telling you what to do. So that's set up, so that's good. All right, then auto check for updates. Yep, pre-tick, that's fine. Go to next. All right, then. So we can change the device name here. So we're going to call this the Office DVR. You don't have to change it, but use, put it as a name site more familiar to yourself. All right. The rest of the settings here are okay. We go next. Okay. So, as you see, we have the date here, and most people will prefer the date here. And now we're going to set up the DTS. The DTS is daylight savings time. So, to set this up, we need to enable it, and then we have to set the right dates here. Okay, then. So, for DTS savings time, we need to set the particular time when the clocks go forward and back. Alright then, so we know the clocks go forward in March and in October they go back. Okay, we'll set it this way. March the last Sunday, October, the last Sunday. Okay. Now, this will automatically uh, sync the time to uh, daylight savings time. And it will save you having to update your DVR. All right, then NTP. This means um, the time also sync to your to the internet. So it's, it's handy to have this on. All 
Okay, and we turn that into TP. Yes. Okay. Now we go next. That's the time set up. Okay, then. So DHCP. This this page is very important. Okay, you might see a, a diff slightly different screen on the eight channel. There's no worries. It's the same thing. Just make we want to make sure this DHCP is enabled. So to do it on here, we click on the little pen. Okay. Now DHC is blue. This means it's going to assign it a random IP, which is what we want. So we go OK, and now we see DHCP is in blue. Perfect. That's what we want. So we go next. OK, then. so this is our mobile app page. And now, as you see, it says offline. Now, sometimes it takes okay, a few seconds to go online. Now we're online. So this is perfect. It's all ready to go to, to get you online. We'll come back, come back to the, check out another video of ours on how to set your app up. Uh, it's very simple, though. OK, we go next. OK, then. So this is our camera setup page. Now, most of you guys might have audio in your camera, so I'm going to quickly show you how to set up the audio. It's very easy. So we click on Smart Codec here, and then we go click on More, and here we say Audio. So we make sure that's enabled, and most audio with uh, will be HDCVI. Okay, then. and we do the same for the Substream as well. Okay, Enable. Now this is only on channel one. So what we have to do is go copy two, select all. Okay. And now this will has applied it to all the all the cameras. Okay. So now our cameras are all set up, ready to plug and play. So we go next. Okay, this is fine, we don't need to change this page. Okay, then this page is to do with your hard drive. So the part here is create video files, time length 60 minutes. So what this will do means is your hard drive will record in 60 minute chunks. Hey, okay, sorry about the phone going off. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that, it'll be taken care of. Okay then, so back to the hard drive. This will record in 60 minute chunks. So it's probably a bit much because when it starts deleting the old footage, it will delete in 60 minute chunks and also when you want to take the footage off onto a USB drive they yeah 60 minutes is quite a big one so what we recommend is if we do 10 minutes on here that means less deletion and easier to take things off the USB drive okay then so 10 minutes perfect so we go next okay this means it will set to be record 24 7. If you want to change the 24 7 recording, you can uh, change it here, but this is fine for us, for our purpose. So we go next. And uh, snapshot is fine, okay. Okay, want to switch resolution, okay. This will automatically detect your optimum resolution for your DVR. Um, you can click on OK, but we're just going to cancel that for now. Okay, great. So that's our DVR set up. Okay, now. As you've seen, we haven't uh, formatted the hard drive. If you do have a hard drive, it will pop up a message saying you want to format the hard drive. Um, or you can go to the menu, go to storage and disk manager. And here you go. We can format this hard drive. And then you click on format and then your recording hard drive is all ready to go. So that's your basic setup for Dower and Dower based DVRs. I hope you I hope you like that and see you next time. Cheers.